The saga of Adrian Newey's potential exit from Red Bull continues to unfold with new developments. While there has been no formal declaration, reports suggest that the renowned British engineer is set to join Ferrari. Gazzetta Dello Sport claims that Newey could begin working on Ferrari's 2026 car right away, without any restrictions on gardening leave, as stated on the website of the Italian sports outlet. Frederick Vasseur, the team boss of the Maranello-based racing stable, reportedly skipped travelling with the team to Miami on Tuesday, opting instead for a detour to London. It's rumoured that in London, Frederick Vassour met with Newey to seal the agreement with the sought-after car designer. According to Gazetta, the deal with Newey is expected to be announced following the Miami Grand Prix. Mounting tensions within the Red Bull team are believed to be the primary cause of Adrian Newey's discontent having designed seven championship-winning cars for the Milton Keynes-based team. Allegations of improper conduct against team boss Horner and an internal power struggle likely pushed Newey to his limits. Previously, Aston Martin and Mercedes were also contenders to secure Newey's services, but it appears the British designer has decisively chosen Ferrari as his next destination. Red Bull seems to have been blindsided by this development adding to the sense of uncertainty about the upcoming regulations. It might also be a response to the increased scrutiny they've been facing lately. There are numerous speculations and questions swirling around in the wake of this news. Now, this isn't just any ordinary news. Slater added a juicy detail. He mentioned that a few insiders close to Newey spilled the beans. They revealed that he's been having informal chats with Red Bull's top brass, expressing his desire to part ways with the team. In the fast-paced world of Formula One, these informal notices are as significant as a driver's contract. It seems like Newey might be ready to shift gears and steer his talents elsewhere. The buzz surrounding Adrian Newey's future at Red Bull is gaining momentum, especially since multiple sources are chiming in. Even Red Bull's somewhat evasive statement hints at imminent changes. They clarified Newey's contract duration and mentioned that, as far as they know, he hasn't explored opportunities with other teams yet. However, they stopped short of denying any discussions about him leaving. It's like they're treading carefully around the topic, acknowledging that something is brewing without revealing too much. This latest development might be linked to the ongoing power struggle behind the scenes, particularly concerning Horner's situation. The destabilizing effects of this struggle seem to have made Newey question his long-term commitment to the team. Over the past few months, Fans have been observing a noticeable cooling in the once close relationship between Newey and Horner. There's been a growing distance between them, likely fueled by the friction and power struggles happening within Red Bull. Slater suggested that Newey might have felt underappreciated at Red Bull due to the team's public announcements not fully crediting him for his achievements. This was compounded by a perceived power struggle within the team, along with comments that seemed to undervalue Newey's role and influence on designing championship winning cars. Despite Red Bull's confidence that Newey will stay until the end of his contract in 2025, we can't overlook the timing of his potential departure. There may be deeper reasons beyond personal ones driving his decision. One plausible factor could be concerns about Red Bull's powertrain performance, which has been the subject of rumours. This speculation gains traction given the strained relationship between Red Bull and Ford, though Ford is unlikely to terminate their agreement abruptly. Newey's departure before the new regulations could validate these murmurs about the powertrain's quality. The rumour mill suggests that Red Bull's first foray into developing an in-house engine is lagging far behind where it should be at this stage. While Red Bull has denied these claims, early explanations like it's our first time and we're up against established engine manufacturers have started to surface from within the team. At 65, Adrian Newey undoubtedly wants the best possible environment for his cars to thrive, especially considering that these regulations might be his last in the sport. Given that Red Bull has limited experience in engine design post-Honda, and considering the uncertainty surrounding their partnership with Ford, which had a rocky history in Formula One, it's understandable why Newey might lack confidence in the team's ability to deliver success in 2026. The stakes are high, and Newey likely wants to ensure he's in a position where his creations have the best chances of shining on the track. It seems like there are multiple factors at play in Newey's decision, including concerns about the potential of the engine program, 
and possible issues with Ford. The disappointment with Ford's approach, expecting family values but encountering smoke and mirrors along with vague WhatsApp messages, may have added to the insecurity surrounding the engine program. While personal reasons are certainly important, Newey's professionalism suggests that performance potential would heavily influence his choice. An insider from Aston Martin has hinted that the team may doubt Newey's reluctance to join Ferrari, as Ferrari has reportedly attempted to sign him in the past. Craig Slater has discussed the speculation around Ferrari's interest and Aston Martin's hopes of enticing Newey. Logistically, a move to Aston Martin would be simpler since they're based at Silverstone. Despite Ferrari's long-standing pursuit of Newey, some insiders at Aston Martin believe he may opt for Ferrari if he chooses to leave. At the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Aston Martin made a tempting offer to Newey, but it seems he turned it down. Sources say he's eyeing Ferrari instead which makes sense considering he's hinted at that being his dream destination. In a recent interview, he got a bit sentimental when asked about never working with Ferrari before, expressing some regret. Joining Ferrari wouldn't just fulfil this longing, it would also open the door for him to collaborate with Lewis Hamilton, whom Newey holds in very high esteem despite any differing opinions others might have about him. Another, albeit sadder, possibility is that Newey might retire after dedicating decades to the sport, especially as the personal demands have grown over the years. It would be understandable for him to seek a peaceful retirement after such a long and successful career. As he nears his 70s, Newey will have spent a year away from the game, a hiatus that can be particularly challenging, especially at an advanced age. Despite the uncertainties ahead, Newey appears to be embracing the present moment with a sense of tranquility. In a recent statement, he expressed his willingness to adapt to whatever unfolds. I think as long as I continue to enjoy it and the team wants me, then I'll continue to do it for the moment. And then, we'll have to see in the future. I don't tend to plan too far forward. What factors might influence his decision? And how do you think his expertise could impact the dynamics of his potential new team? Do you think Newey's approach to his future is admirable or risky? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, goodbye for now.